The newly elected National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Abdullah Adamu, has taken over from his predecessor. The seventh senator, who is a supporter of President Muhammad Buhari, was a former governor of Nasarawa State. Earlier today, Mr. Adamu received the mantle of leadership from the former chairman, May Malabuni, at the party's headquarters. Habib Dalawal has more. After several postponements, the APC last weekend held its elective national convention at Eagle Square in Abuja. At the end of the exercise, 77 national officers emerged, with Abdullah Adamu becoming the national chairman of the party, while Iyola Omishori was elected as the national secretary. Majority of them were elected through a consensus list adopted by President Muhammad Buhari, governors and other leaders of the party. Of the 36 officers in the NWC, only five were contested while the rest emerged through consensus. Newly elected National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Abdullah Adamu, has been officially handed the leadership of the party. He urged other executive members to imbibe the virtue of loyalty to the party. Failure is not going to be in our vocabulary from today. We will work for success by the grace of God. If any of you, my colleagues, have any problems with me, please don't begrudge me. Throw it out open. Let me know. I promise you the spirit of collective leadership, teamwork, I cannot deliver alone. As members of the National Working Committee of this party, you have an Herculean task before you. First, to sustain the gains, and obviously, you know, the tax before you is enormous. But that cannot be without problems here and there. But by and large, we have succeeded. Uh, we can say we have recorded 70% success. Governor of Yobe State, May Malabuni, who has been at the helm of the party affairs for about 22 months, handed over today. May Malabuni had faced some challenges as the chairman caretaker extraordinary convention planning committee of the party in the last few months. The new leadership says it will effect lasting reconciliation among members so as to go into the general election, a united house. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.